This one is just straight up mud, which is good holding, but then you get mud everywhere. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah. It looks like I'm killing earth here. Don't know if it's gonna live up to the forecast of getting up to like 20 knots or so, or if it'll just stay kind of mellow like this. Maybe I'm not. Nope. <laughs> Belfast. We made our way from the Isle of Isla to Campbelltown on the Kintyre Peninsula of Scotland to meet up with some friends and work on a couple episodes while we waited for an improvement in the weather to make it to Northern Ireland. We are going ashore in Campbelltown. Have to find the dinghy dock and walk to a store hopefully. It's Sunday so things might not be as open but I'm excited to walk around. This town looks really cute. We always seem to arrive in big towns on Sundays. <laughs> it's like our thing. <laughs> when everything's closed, but we haven't been to a big town in quite some time, so looking forward to walking around and being part of uh, some civilization again. Well, we went out to Davar Island. There's a land bridge that's only exposed at low tide. So we actually timed it right. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't walk to the island, we just walked along the, the land bridge and then walked to the tip out there that we passed when we sailed here. And it's a lovely day finally this afternoon. Yeah, not raining, sunny skies. Feels good to get out. Yeah, feels good to stretch the legs. We've been on the boat working on some panda projects uh, and we just needed to walk. Yeah. Hey, hello. Kitty. Right. Marr. Marr. No. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> I don't think we can talk sheep. Oh well. Now for fish and chips. <laughs> and Darren That's is. That's my dream. We'll see if we can find them. Darren is craving some fish and chips. Oh, don't tell me you couldn't eat some fish and chips I right now. I could totally go for fish and chips. Fish and chips here are spectacular. So good. Yeah. I don't know if it's the batter or the fried or the freshness. I don't know. So good. Legit fish and chips. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good morning. We are finally picking up anchor and it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a little calmer than we expected, but still hoping to sail. We've been here for a little over a week now. It's uh, kind of weird to be leaving, but Darren's picking up anchor because I'm not feeling well. <laughs> and how's it going up here? Dirty business, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Some anchorages are clean. This one is just straight up mud, which is good holding, but then you get mud everywhere. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah. That's a bad one. I know, it looks like I'm killing earth here. Yeah, I think I noticed on anchorages where like there's a, like we're picking up and there's some wind and like a little bit of wave action, it, that wave action, like the chain up and down the water, like pretty much cleans it by the time it comes up to the roller. <laughs> But this, we're just totally flat, calm today. Like, it gets no real cleaning from the water, so. Uh -uh. Yeah, but yeah, I'm excited to get sailing. I was looking at the weather forecast and it's like all over the place. The European model shows like no wind. The GFS shows like 20 knots. 
and then the predict wind models kind of show in between. <laughs> so we could be motoring flat calm or we could have a rocket sail. Mixed bag. Yeah, or both. I don't know. But yeah, I'm ready to get out of here and even if we have to kind of motor sail and be happy just yeah, to travel. Yeah, I'm ready to get out too. All right, keep on keeping on. All right, mother. I think Jenny's coming out. There's just a hair bit of wind. Maybe we can do some real motor sailing. A but hair bit or a wee bit? A hair bit. I like a hair bit. But we haven't launched Big Jenny since the Bahamas. She flew us into Georgetown. That was the last sail that she's oh, done. Yeah, that was a good sail. Yeah. So this would be good. Just get her stretched out, dry. Great to have Big Jenny back. <laughs> Man, we haven't had her out in forever. I'm curious to see the performance compared to our last uh, sail, which has been doing great. But uh, we've been having some struggling uh, trying to power through some of the lighter airs. So I think this will give us a little more of an edge now. So let's see. We didn't know quite what to expect with the varying weather forecast, and it can happen often in sailing. So you just kind of roll with it and do the best that you can to manage the sails while closely monitoring all the conditions of the wind, waves, and clouds surrounding you. The wind would finally fill in and we were able to turn off the motor, sailing into the bright blue horizon, but it wasn't long before the conditions would completely change. Sounds great. Okay. Oh. <coughs> Aaron's been sailing great <laughs> while I've been sleeping. <laughs> well, you don't know about the great part, but we are actually sailing now. Just shut off the motor. The wind has finally shifted. There's like a bit of a front that's coming. And so we're getting the first part of that wind. Don't know if it's gonna live up to the forecast of getting up to like 20 knots or so, or if it'll just stay kind of mellow like this. But at least we're moving under sail now. That is so much better than the Iron Jenny. And we're doing uh, like, well, let's see, 4.7 through the water and only about seven knots apparent wind. So that's pretty good. And uh, I know we're gonna have to push against a current I think as we as we approach Belfast, so kind of cool that we're going to a new country. Uh, we haven't done that for a month since we <laughs> came here to Scotland, uh, and it's amazing how close Scotland and Ireland actually are. It's a very short distance across a small channel here. So yeah, so looking forward to pulling into Belfast. And we have a marina actually set up for us in Belfast as well. They, we are now in winter pricing, which is so cheap here. It's like half the price of a normal summer berth. So that'll be good for us because we do need to catch up on some laundry, fill up on water, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah, let's uh, see how the, how the day goes here. Got really cold, like we were in total sun. And then now we're gonna have nothing but clouds and maybe a little sprinkle now and then. So got all my fowlies on, or at least half of them on, ready for, for that. We 
are how many miles out? 15 miles out from Belfast, and Panda Boat is in her sweet spot. We have Big Jenny up, full main, full mizzen. The wind's like 15 knots on the beam, and we're just scooting along at like seven knots through the water, which is just awesome. It's uh, this is like the most pleasant point of sail, absolutely. Like right on the beam is minimal keel. And again, like sails are let out and we are moving along real nicely. Looks like we might have a little rainstorm ahead of us up here. Well, we're entering Belfast Harbor, more or less. We're still actually a couple of miles outside of it, but again, the point where there's a lot of shipping, a lot of traffic, and our stronger wind that we had out in the channel, it's kind of dying now because we're in the lee of some land. So I shook the reef out of the Jenny, and I'm going to go up and take the reef out of the main. So, step one is to make sure the topping lift is attached, the boom won't fall. for reefing is you just don't reef. Now we come back inside. How fast are we going, Panda? Uh, going almost eight knots through the water, six over ground. Yes. Especially when we were, we hit a little gust, so it was 15 knots apparent. Uh, then I, I looked at Darren and said, no. Nope. No. Like, yep, I felt it up there today. Like, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're still fine. Like, it's not like we're doing bad on time or anything. I'm just enjoying uh, pushing it. I know. It's fun. With Big Jenny out, I guess I'm just like a little... We have more power. <laughs> yeah, so we already have a lot of sail out. I think it's a little unnecessary to yeah. take that reef out. Now the wind has died sufficiently, I think we can pull the reef out. Yeah, it's been like this for a little while. Like, only nine knots apparent. So, we got... Our topping loop. And now, all I need to do is release the halyard. That just lets the tension out of this. There we go. So I can unhook it. That's good. Now undo the reefing line. Good. Reefing line's done. Now I can bring the halyard back. Did that till it was just tight. Sail is unreefed. Now, this is the out haul. Since it's really light wind, I'm gonna just uh, keep it a bit loose. Keeps more full shape in the sail. No more power. Yeah, look at that. Belfast. And then Panda's gonna get the topping lift off. Or maybe just keep it taut. Yeah, that's fine. I was actually just gonna keep it taut. Yeah, because like we might have to drop it. I feel like we might forget something. Oh, man, and we're not fighting this time. <laughs> yeah. 
so yeah, yeah here we're we just are. Fighting a headwind and a head current at this point. Is that the thing? A head current. Fighting all the things. Fighting all the things. But Mr. Perkins is pushing on. Here's. Ha! We made it. We're all docked. We had some friends help catch the lines for us. It was like no wind, so it was super easy. So yeah, we are here. It's like nine o'clock. So time to cook some dinner for sure. Tidy up the boat. And explore Belfast tomorrow. So we're just listening to the radio like we tend to do, and I went to the channel that uh, we thought it was an airplane, turns out it's a helicopter, has been contacting the ship, and turns out they're going to board the vessel, and we've never seen any like aircraft displayed on our AIS before, and all of a sudden I look down and I see this like spider looking thing, I'm like, I think that's it, and it's right there. Let's see, we can see it right there. Yeah, it's super cool. Cool stuff you hear about on the water, hey? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. The sun's poking through. 